Next I'm going to make some coral for you. Really simple and easy to do. So this is just the Renshaw flour and modelling paste that I've got here and I've already warmed it up so it's ready to use. Now what we're going to do is just put it in a strange shape actually. Just bend it like so. And then you can use a cocktail stick, a Dresden tool. I'm using the pointed end of my rolling pin here. And then we're going to attack it, which sounds a bit scary, but we're just going to stab it lots of times. Now it's quite a bizarre thing, but it actually makes lovely coral. So we go all the way around. See I'm gently moving it as well. Make sure you cover everywhere. So this is where I say you can use a cocktail stick or any pointed, a knitting needle would be ideal. Anything you've got lying around. And you just keep, now if you wanted to pull some of the icing up, you can actually manipulate it to make a little bobble as well. So remember, the icing's your friend, not your enemy. And if you go wrong, you can screw it up, put it in the bin and start again. It's absolutely fine. As long as you're having fun while you're doing this. So we just keep dotting all the way around. So maybe I'll just put another little nodule in there of coral. And there we have it. Can you see all those lovely little indents? So now what we're going to do, I'm just move my board out of the way. We're going to do a little bit of colouring. So we put that on our white paper and we're just going to turn the airbrush on. Now we've got nothing in there at the moment, so I'm going to put a bit of yellow in there. Like so. And then coral isn't just one colour, is it? I think it's quite nice to get different shades because we're under the sea here. So different shades over that coral. And then empty out some excess colour. And then I'm going to go over with a little bit of red. Just in certain areas. Like so. Now I'm going to introduce to you some other bits of coral that I've previously made. And as you can see, I've done all sorts here. So I've done the normal coral that we've just been making. I've even left some white because you do get white coral under there. I've done some nod the nodule bits here sticking up. And I've also done some fan effects, which I'll be showing you shortly when we make the fish. But that too does look lovely. And as you can see here, I've rolled some and curled some up and coloured it. So that's all of our lovely coral.